I just returned from an epic three-day backpacking trip through the backcountry of southern Utah. In this video, I'm going to show you guys some of the amazing scenery as well as a behind-the-scenes look at some of my photography. Well, the day started early and it was so beautiful. You could just tell that we were hitting it at just the right time in order to get these perfect yellow colors on the trees. So we started off having to hike up a little bit or a lot bit actually. Uh, and we were hiking on this beautiful, beautiful like slick rock, this nice yellow textured rock for pretty much most of the day. It's a lot of cross country hiking and eventually we finally reached the very top of the canyon that we would be dropping into. Now in this video, notice this tree right here. One of my absolute favorite trees. I've been here multiple times and I knew I was gonna photograph it on this trip. I actually got a shot that I really, really liked. So here's the original image here, which I ended up doing a little bit of cropping, a lot of spot healing and some color adjustment. This here is my final edited image. You can see I zoomed in quite a bit. Originally, I liked that more zoomed out composition, but I ended up going with this a little bit more zoomed in just to kind of show off a little bit more detail on the tree. You can also see in the foreground there, I spot healed a lot of those bushes just because they were really distracting towards the overall scene. Um, so this is the final image that I ended up with. After I was done shooting, we continued to head downwards into the canyon and forwards until we found our campsite for the night. The second day started right where the first day left off. You can see the colors are just fantastic. Walking through the creek all day long was so much fun, looking at the beautiful, beautiful yellow cottonwoods. It was such a nice day. It was sunny out. The temperature was just right. It was really the perfect time to go on this trip. So we finally arrived at one of my favorite spots here, this little desert oasis. I knew I was going to take some photos here and I was getting ready to take photos. But first, of course, we wanted to have a little bit of fun. So we decided to jump in the water. I shot some video on the drone. It was super fun place to hang out 
for the day. So I ended up hanging out here for a little bit and then finally the light was just right. I decided to take some photos and I ended up with this shot. This is the raw file here. Now a few things to note uh, in my edit here, you can see I've done quite a bit. First things first, I stacked multiple different photos. I did a focus stack, so I did one shot where I was focused on the foreground, one where I was focused on the background. Additionally, I took another faster exposure where I wanted to really freeze the motion of the trees. Because it was a little bit windy, the longer about half second exposure that I was getting to have that really nice looking water was unfortunately making the trees a little bit blurry. And I wanted the trees to be sharp because I knew that I might print this image later. So I took a faster exposure, blended that all in. When it comes to editing, you can see I did make the trees a little bit more yellow. They were not quite peak. They were a little bit green here. So I just used the color mixer tool in Lightroom to fix that. And I did like a very, very slight amount of warping just to make that foreground more prominent. After eating lunch and hanging out for a while, we headed to like the next best section in the canyon, which is this narrow section that goes on for a couple miles. It was just fantastic to walk through here. I was really hoping this tree in the center would be yellow for the fall, but it wasn't. That's all right, I'll be back another time. But it was still fantastic to see this in here. It's such a beautiful spot. The water is really shallow. It's easy walking. There's huge canyon walls rising up thousands of feet on both sides of you. So it's just a fantastic area. Loved walking through here. Because I've shot this area on a recent trip, I didn't really shoot much in terms of photos on my camera on this particular trip in this section, but I did shoot some more downstream after we continued walking. We kept walking quite a long ways until we eventually reached our campsite. So at our campsite, there was this beautiful tree that I tried to photograph. The left is the raw file, the right is the edited. Now, first things first, you guys might be thinking, why is the raw file so dark? Why didn't you brighten it up? So it was actually a little bit windy outside. I was shooting with my telephoto and one, one, 125th of a second was as slow as I was willing to go on the shutter speed. Uh, I could have raised the ISO, but I just shot it dark in the field and raised it in post afterwards. You'll also notice that I did a slight little tilt of the tree because it's warped a little bit to the right in the raw file. I kind of tilted it to the left just a little bit. Then I made the leaves kind of pop out and be a little more orange. Ultimately, it's not my favorite shot, but it's definitely one that I'll probably keep uh, in my portfolio. It's not terrible. It's just not necessarily my favorite, but it is a decent shot of a cottonwood in the fall, I think. And I got it literally from just outside my tent. Now, I also shot this photo here with a drone, obviously, um, and this was a really fun photo to show. You can see I edited it like that. I brought the trees out quite a bit, uh, maybe even too much, to be honest. I might go back and retouch this, but I think that it looks pretty good, and it's really interesting to me because it's kind of showing off the confluence where the drainage that we came down meets the main large river, which is right where we were camping. The trees were really, really nice in there in this particular kind of year. There was a couple different other kinds of trees or bushes that were like reds or oranges or yellows and still some stuff that was pretty green. So I think it made a really interesting photo. Um, and this is what I came up with with my drone. The third and final day was not the most exciting walk out compared to the previous two days, but there was certainly still some great scenery some more amazing cottonwoods in the wash because again we were walking in a creek that's where those cottonwoods like to hang out and of course there was some beautiful alcoves and red walls and red cliffs so really can't complain uh, we were bummed to have to be leaving but it was a nice short trip and for me a three day two night backpacking trip is super short so i was really fortunate to get four images that i feel like are at least pretty good 
uh, top left image here that I took with my drone I think is a nice photo um, but probably I won't really do anything with it other than just sit on it but it's probably not gonna be something I would add to my online portfolio or even something that I would print out um, on the bottom left I do really like that photo a lot I think that that photo would look really nice as a print it's really simplistic it's got some nice orangish tones which is perfect for down here in the desert so I really like that one I'm going to add that one to my portfolio in the top right I think the tree image ended up looking really nice but not really something that I really love I know there's a lot of photographers out there that take a lot of photos like this that do a really good job I don't think that it's personally there and of course the bottom right I think is the pinnacle image of the whole trip turned out great really really happy with that one and I will probably look to print that one in the future thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys next time this is Austin James Jackson signing out